hello everyone and welcome uh, so today uh, i'll be showing you how to calculate uh, coordinates of unknown points uh, using the coordinates of uh, known points uh, that's the process that uh, is known as coordinating points so i have this diagram here uh, and i have the departure the elevation departure is the change in steam while the elevation is the change in nothing so we're going to use uh, these changes or change in elevation and change in uh, steam to move from point a to point b which we have the coordinates of point a so uh Just to demonstrate, uh, we have, I'll be using a calculator. So let me change the color. Use the font. So A will be, I'm going to use this particular function, rec function in a Casio calculator. Rec, uh, Distance, comma, very simple as that. So this is what we're going to insert in our Casio calculator. This uh, Casio calculator. Uh, it is a series FX eighty two ES. If you have this type of calculator, it will be easy for you to follow along. So, Uh, so uh, what we're going to do this one will give you the departure and elevation so what we're going to do is to let me add in some this So, uh, since we have this distance, we have the bearing, so this is the distance from point A, we have the bearing, the direction from point A to point B. Delta N equals to So you're going to calculate those changes in this thing and nothing. Uh, we said A goes to check in bracket the distance is seventeen point seven comma uh degrees three minutes and forty two seconds. So if we insert that in our calculator, just click shift and uh in us to invoke the rec function and input the pin 17.7 comma uh, comma uh, just shift then the bearing is uh, 54 degrees Three minutes and forty two seconds. So the first value will be the naughty 
the second value will be history. So close the bracket and uh, click equals. So it, uh, data n is negative 15.44. So don't worry about the x. Uh, the first uh, value is normally the nothing, the change in nothing, which is delta n. And again, uh, let me show you something. If you are using this other particular calculator, um, let me open it using particular. If you are using uh, Casio FX 82 MS, uh, you have uh, put in the rec and then distance and bearing and the uh, you click equal sign the first value will be you'll, you'll only be given the nothing to find the easting uh, you'll have to uh, click this rcl this uh, call turn then rcl then you press turn just to recall turn so just press this rcl then Click this turn. That's how we recall turn in FX 82 MS. You know, majority of surveyors, students normally use this type of calculator. So let's continue. Uh, so I have uh, my node uh, delta N, which is 15.44. Then is 15.44. It's negative. The E of change in using is seven point five one. This is B used as B. So, when you saw B, it be uh, the nothing. So, thing of B will be nothing of A plus change in nothing. That is a uh, minus one thirty five seven sixty seven three five plus negative fifteen point four four. So just be minus fifteen point four four. This thing is given by ninety nine. One nine three one four as delta E, which is a seven seven point five. Uh -huh. Nothing. Nothing. Let me clear everything. So it's negative uh, one thirty five seven sixty seven three five minus fifteen point. Of one. That is uh, one thirty negative one thirty five seven eighty two.
16 equals to uh, 119 2, 3, 2, 1, 4, last 7, 5, 4, equals to 1930 the coordinates of these are the coordinates of point B from uh, A. So that's that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. But to subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.